Hi, the last step is to connect Power BI to our Amazon Redshift database. So let's start. Let's go to Power BI, click on Get Data, just click on More. Uh, let's type Redshift. So we click and it's asking for a server and database. Now, uh, in order to get this information, we should go to Redshift, go to Clusters, and select the cluster that we created for this example. Here in the right side, it's this option that says Endpoint. Let's copy this. Click here to copy. Let's paste this here and let's delete the last part because the last part is the database which should be written in the next field. So let's delete, let's write that here and OK. It's asking now for credentials. Uh, I will use the same credentials that I created at the start of the last video. I need to OK, connect. It's not going to connect. That's the spoiler alert. It, it won't connect because we need to do a couple of configurations in our cluster to give permissions so that we allowed this to be connected from, from sources like Power BI. So the first thing we need to change is to go here to Actions and modify publicly accessible setting. We will enable this Okay, let's save the changes. Okay, it will take some time because the, the cluster is very complex. So even modifying the the sing one single parameter is, can take some, some minutes. So let's just wait here. I will pause the video and continue when it's done. Okay, now that the cluster is finished modifying and now it is available to use, let's reconnect. So I will, I'm just typing the same again. And yes, it worked. And now let's select the, um, the table that we created. It was inside the public schema. So we select public and we select the scrape data. It was the table that we were using. And yes, we successfully connected. Now we can use Power BI to create dashboard reports uh, to give a more, a more visual way to see the data that we got from the scrape. As you can see, the data is here. So now we can do anything that Power BI is capable of doing to just show this data. This was my first video. I really hope that part of the video helped you with your project that you want to do. And I'm always open to constructive criticism, so be free to write your thoughts. I mean, if you can let me know if some of some of part of the video of the code of that configuration that I use in this uh, project you have any kind of recommendations to be uh, faster or to optimize any kind of resources you can tell me that in the comments and yes i will be reading that and thank you for watching